Yep, I'm back here with some camera babble. And today I'm going to babble about a camera that I haven't yet tried, but I was thinking about making some kind of a video about it. Um, the camera in question is locked inside this little box, and as you can see here, it says Minolta. It is actually not, not a Minolta camera, because it is something very different. It's a very simple camera as it looks, and it actually is a Shinon. It's a pocket zoom, autofocus, everything seems to be very automated, automated on this one. Uh, it's a 38 to 60 millimeter lens, and it seems to me like if you press the button here called power, it will turn it on. Fascinating. Uh, and you will have some different modes, it seems. Uh, you have two zoom buttons, one of them zooms out, one of them zooms back in again. Uh, and you have that lovely me sound, I actually love that sound. Uh, it seems like a very simple and easy camera to use, I've never um, really tried it before, I just got it in the mail, it just came. I found it very kind of cheaply online. Um, I've seen there's another one online as well now in Norway. It looks to me very, very overpriced because this feels like a plastic camera. It feels like it's absolutely, uh, it's made very cheaply of plastic. So I'm very interested to see what kind of pictures I, will, I can get with it. Uh, I have an idea on what I want to do, but I will not spill the beans just yet. For the test that I want to do, I have decided to go for the Rollei uh, Retro 400S. I've tried this film uh, before uh, and I remember that I liked the tones it gave me. And I remember that I really appreciated the extremely fine grain it gives. Um, I developed it in XTOL 1 plus 1, I think it was, uh, last time, I can't remember, I have it in my notes, obviously, and it says here that uh, XTOL would be 17 minutes if you, if you go 1 plus 1, maybe I did stock then, I can't remember. Uh, but I have other developers I can use as well, but I like the way it looked in XTOL, so that's probably what I'm going to go with. So we're going to put the film into the camera, and this is the film. It looks like every other film you've ever seen. Uh, and this one is one of those automatic cameras that would probably wind, the wind half of the film on. Uh, so you will lose all the extra shots you will get if you do it yourself. But, you know, it's a part of it, isn't it?
Yep, I'm out here shooting the Shinon Pocket Zoom and I just finished a roll of Retro 400S, the Rollei uh, Retro 400S. It's a black and white film and I will develop that when I come home. have a few other things to do today, but I will get that done. Uh, I have a few reflections and a few first impressions about this camera. Uh, it's straightforward and easy to use. Uh, it's like shooting your phone, basically. Uh, you have no control whatsoever. Uh, it's completely automatic. I couldn't find any other modes, really, that made any sense to me. Um, another annoying thing is that you have to turn off the flash every time. Because uh, if you don't, it will kind of just fire the flash every time which is not what I wanted today. I went for, as you can see, the weather is misty. It's that kind of december -y mist feel that you will get in Norway at this time of year. Uh, I went down to a location I know quite well. I've been here many times. Uh, and I find that this is a beautiful location. Um, you have some interesting rocks. You have some interesting uh, mountain for formations or Maybe not mountains, but whatever, rock formations. Uh, you yeah, have the tide of the water, not really a tide, it's not salt water, so it's not tide. But you, you have the waves coming into me, and I did some, not really seascapes, but I did something where I was just looking over the seas with some of these wilted grass in the foreground. And I've done something with the man made stuff here, I made something with the rock formations. Uh, and I also brought this camera out yesterday when I shot for the Bronica shoot. Uh, the Bronica with the with the um, Street Pan 400. So what do I think about this one? Well, it's easy to use and I can see it has a value, but I might not use it that much. So I might, I might sell it again, who knows. Uh, but it's a brilliant camera for uh, for people who don't want to think and if you have if you're in a really stressed situation and want to shoot film uh, but I would prefer having more control over my exposures so I think that this might not be the camera for me but I will see when the pictures come out. And I'm curious about looking at those because I have no idea what they will look like. Uh, I just hope there will be something that I can use for anything, really. Thank you for joining me.